I got a quick tip for you. I'm setting up my style guide in Webflow uh, for my new client build here. And one of the things that I'm, I'm doing is making sure that my heading class size uh, is equal to the heading class size inside of my Figma file that I built this in. And so if I go over to the Figma file, I see that my heading extra, extra large is 56 pixels. Now, if you're working with FinSuite's uh, client first system like I am doing, uh, they're doing everything in RIMS and this is for accessibility purposes. I definitely recommend that you build in RIMS as well. Uh, but I don't work in RIMS every single day and I can't do this calculation off the top of my head, but Webflow will do the calculation for you. They make it super easy. And so right now the heading extra, extra large is set to four, which is not correct. Um, and so all I have to do is type the pixel size, which was 56. And then I'm going to do the forward slash or divided by sign. And then I'm going to do 16 rim. And that's because one rim is 16 pixels. And then if I just press the enter, it automatically goes to 3.5 rim, which equals 56 pixels. And you can go through your entire style guide and set up all your sizing just like that. And so that's just a quick tip. You don't have to get out your phone. You don't have to find a calculator or anything like that. You can do the calculations right in Webflow, and this will allow you to set up that style guide with ease. So hopefully that uh, helps you out as you're beginning to build your next Webflow project.